Hey guys, what is up? It's Biff and this is Fearless Mods. Today, we're gonna take the Trans Am on a drivability test. We've done plenty with the Pico Scope, checking out the OptiSpark and checking out the ignition coil and the ignition module. Next thing I wanna do is just check and see why we're either dropping cylinders or losing power. The car's cold, we're gonna hook everything up. I am gonna hook up both to the ALDL cable so that I can get the onboard diagnostics. I'm also gonna hook the Pico Scope up to a few things. Anyway, let's get this thing on the road and see if we can help isolate what's going on with our misfire. Stay tuned. Okay, so we've got our amp clamp on the coil primary so that we can get our coil ramps. We've also got a voltage clamp on the coil secondary. That's the coil wire going between the coil and the uh, OptiSpark. And we've got a number one plug wire voltage clamp so we can locate our number one signal so that we know what cylinder we're on. All of those are routed in through the door so that I can plug those in. Now we are going to um, plug into the fuel pump. I'm probably gonna do it under the dash and the driver floorboard there on the fuel pump relay. Okay, for the relay here, we are going to use a uh, inline pin here to grab our gray wire. Crappy eBay probe here, so we'll see how it works. I will assume I do need to ground it, so I'll get a ground to put on here and clamp that. So the pink wire brings the power in, the gray wire sends it out to the pump. So that should show us the voltage that our pump is getting. Okay, now that we've got all our wires, we'll go ahead and plug them into the Pico here. This is our coil primary, coil secondary, number one plug reference, fuel pump voltage. Okay, so now we got both of our computers. We'll get this one hooked up to the Pico. All right, so that is set and ready. And the last thing we're gonna do is have the GoPro going so that we can try to sync up any of this that we need to. showing empty on gas. That might be part of the problem. Come on, baby, get there. We're so close. A little further, a little further. Okay, we are gassed up and ready to hook back up and try this again. Let's hope this one goes better. Oh, nothing. Wow, this thing has zero power. I don't know if we're gonna make it out on this road. Throttle won't shift. Full throttle. Finally shifted. What is going on with this car? We'll save them and take a look at what we did or did not get. Last run test. Boy, it really drops when you push that throttle. 2500 RPM, it really dies. Full throttle, nothing. tries to like throb right around 1200 RPM. Getting a lot of exhaust rattle from the missing. Seems like partial throttle works better. Come on, give me that partial throttle, let's go. but it's still just that RPM limit. 2,500 RPMs, we won't shift. 
to the floor. There's a shift. Feather in the throttle, we can get a little bit of speed off of it, but nothing good. Partial throttle, about 1800 RPM, doesn't look so bad. Lower RPM excels seem to do a little better. Full throttle excels aren't doing anything. There's like about a constant 1900 RPM. and then back to idle. All right, well, let's shut it off and take a look. All right, guys, so there you have it, four test drives with varying amount of success. We ran out of gas. We didn't have the resolution that we needed on all the scans, but what you can see on that very last one is we seem to be operating fine. On, on the prior ones, the fuel pump's operating at a decent voltage, um, you know, charging voltage, so above 12. The ignition seems to be working fine. Uh, when we think we're feeling all these misses, we're actually not showing any misses really in the, in the scan. The, of course, we get a lot of turbulence in the spark under high acceleration or high load, um, and we get a lot of craziness going on in the, the spark lines and maybe some lean and, and rich conditions that keep occurring. But there's something else going on, and I think I might have a clue where I want to look next. But for that one, you're going to have to stay tuned and check us out in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Come back and see what happens in the next episode. We'll catch you again real soon. Take care.